What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the upcoming KKSB K1 Mini ITX Super Small Form Factor PC case. So I've had the pleasure to spend a few days with this so far, and keep in mind that the one I have here is actually one of the first prototypes. This is up on Kickstarter right now, and they're available for 135 US dollars. The company KKSB is out of Sweden, and you might notice their name because they do a lot of smaller cases for Raspberry Pis and other single board computers. But they wanted to get into the PC market, and I was lucky enough to get a chance to take a first look at this thing and do a build inside of it. And overall, this thing is tiny. The overall dimensions on this case are 310 millimeters by 138 by 195, but it will fit a full-size 300 millimeter dual slot graphics card, and that's what I'm going to be trying out today. So all the silver you see on this case is full high quality aluminum. Where the motherboard mounts and where the power supply mounts itself is made of steel, this actually gives it some rigidity inside of the case. Now in this video I'm not going to go over the steps it took me to build this and I will leave my full specs in the description because this is actually the tiniest case I've ever worked with and it did take me a little while to get used to it. But overall everything fit in here really nice. I'm using an SFX power supply, mini ITX Z390 motherboard with a 9600K and for the GPU I chose the RTX 2070. There's a 512GB M.2 attached to the motherboard itself, and I also wanted to add a 1TB 2.5 inch SSD. And that drive can actually mount underneath the power supply, but I kind of like the way this looks, so I just set it up the way I want it. The build wasn't hard at all. Now some parts do need to go in before others, and I did run into a couple issues here and there, but that was kind of on my end. Basically, to get everything in a small case like this, you kind of got to act like you're playing Tetris. I was actually pretty surprised at how quiet this case is given that we don't have much room for airflow here. Now I'm just running some benchmarks, I've actually had this up and running for 16 hours now, and all the sounds you're hearing here is actually coming from that RTX 2070. I haven't messed around with any of the fan curves on the CPU or the GPU yet. I do plan on making another video later on, but I've done a lot of testing on this, and the highest I've had my GPU hit was 71 degrees Celsius, and as for the CPU, 69 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that this is the 9600K 4.2 GHz cores and I'm using that 47 millimeter Silverstone CPU cooler. There is room in here for a taller cooler but I've had really good luck with this specific cooler. So like I mentioned I will have another video coming up on this. We'll do a build and we'll do some more testing here. Now I got a little more to go here but so far so good. I've been up and running for 16 hours. I've been testing for about two to three hours and with the parts I chose here everything's staying relatively cool seeing how small this case is. Now obviously this is all really going to depend on what CPU, GPU, and cooler you use but the setup I have here seems to work really well in this small form factor case. Just to give you an idea of how truly small this case is, on the right hand side I have a Dark Flash DLM21. Now this supports a micro ATX or a mini ITX motherboard. It's really not that big of a case, my main PC is actually much bigger than this, but this is one that I built recently, and as you can see it absolutely dwarfs the new KKSB K1. So this thing is ridiculously small. And since we're here, I'll give you a quick rundown on the specs I use for the K1 build. For the CPU, I opted for the i5-9600K, an ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming Mini ITX motherboard. For the cooler, a Silverstone Argon Series AR11, and like I mentioned, there is room in here for a taller cooler. 16 gigabytes of Team Force DDR4 at 3200 megahertz, a Team Force 2.5 inch 1 terabyte SSD, and I also have an M.2 attached to the board itself. For the power supply, I opted for a Seasonic 650 watt SFX, and the GPU is the EVGA RTX 2070. In terms of performance, this does a really good job with 1080p and 1440p gaming, and if you're interested in seeing more on the K1 build, definitely keep an eye on the channel because I do have a couple more videos coming up. I still want to get a little more testing out of the way, but then we'll be testing out some games, running some benchmarks, and even some higher end emulation. So if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these when it releases, the Kickstarter is going live right now. Like I mentioned, it's $135 without the 260mm fans, or $145 with them. They also offer a black version, but obviously I have the silver here, and personally, I really like this with the gold accents. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the new K1 case. Keep an eye on the channel because I got a lot more coming. But like always, thanks for watching.